people used to open the windows all the time. So eventually they started putting up signs, this bus is air-conditioned, please don't open the window. And that did nothing at all. The result is today, all of the buses have air conditioning installed, but it's not turned on, and everyone's uncomfortable. <laughs> So my name is Charles Luzato. I work in the Simulio brand of Dassault System. Currently with my team, I'm specializing on the representation of the performance of industrial equipment. And that means heavy machinery or power equipment or even climate systems. And, and these climate systems, you know, you, you find them in your car and they impact your comfort, your experience in the vehicle. So we're working to predict what kind of experience individuals will have when they're sitting in their cars. So all of the work that we're doing on the transportation industry, working on improving the climate systems of vehicles to maximize their energy efficiency, is also to be able to help with electrification of vehicles. Uh, the climate system can be responsible for up to 40% range decrease in uh, extreme weather conditions. And this electrification of vehicles definitely makes sense to reduce the overall CO2 emissions of the transportation industry. That being said, there is one industry that actually uh, creates more CO2 emissions, and that's the building industry. We want to take that same technology, that same simulation, to optimize the climate systems within buildings, to maximize comfort, as well as minimize the energy consumption of the buildings. We want to work on the components within the building, you know, the actual climate system components start replacing those components for more energy efficient ones and improve the integration of those systems within the building to maximize comfort and energy efficiency through simulation. In fact, if we look at comfort and the impact of well-being, it's been estimated in the UK that that well-being or lack of well-being can be responsible for up to 135 billion pounds per year in costs due to lack of productivity. Improving the energy efficiency of the climate system whilst improving the comfort of its occupants therefore increases the productivity of your building and decreases your operating costs. There's one aspect which we can't include in simulations and that's the occupants of the building. How they behave, whether they will open up windows within the building and completely mess up the optimized performance that had been simulated. Instead of trying to predict their behavior, we can use the 3D Experience platform to educate and communicate how the building performs. With the COVID pandemic, we saw the toll that uh, a pandemic could have on a built environment, on the occupants, on the productivity of these occupants, and just the social interaction that we have with each other. With the simulation solutions, we help to be able to optimize not just comfort and energy efficiency, but add a third aspect to this equilibrium triangle of indoor air quality. So leveraging these technologies, we're hoping to transform the way that we build uh, built environments today, offices, hospitals, data centers. And that means ultimately more comfortable environments, more livable environments, something that we enjoy being in whilst minimizing the impact on the planet. This is really the perfect example of harmonizing product, the HVAC, nature, our planet, and life, us.